Welcome to the fucking metaverse. I also feel like now we have this this roster um, between, and it's funny, each one of y'all has a different Creative Commons license, uh, between Yuga, Doodles, and Proof. I mean, Kevin, Kevin Rose used to be my arch nemesis CEO. Dig <laughs> was our biggest competitor. I, I hated his yeah. guts. I hated him. I'd never, I had met him once at a party. I never talked to him. I hated him. And then we finally buried, ha ha ha, dig. And I didn't hate him as much because we won, but I had never <laughs> talked to the guy. Amazing. And I and I told him, actually, I told him this, I told him this in the proof, I guess. I was like, dude, I almost, when dig fire sold um, for like a few hundred thousand dollars, I nearly bought dig.com just so I could redirect it to Reddit. I'm wow, that, that's I'm that petty. petty. I love I, it. Dude, I, I am. It. I've heard that you, um, but I did, you you're a bit, uh, Oh, you relish in the uh, fucking eat it up. Keep a I list, love it. A list Haters. of all the slights that have. Oh, been I made. have screenshots of every yes, every uh, mean tweet. Every like whether it's on you know when I was starting this football club in L.A. Angel City FC. Every time someone would tell me that I was going to lose all my money, no one cared about women's sports. I would screenshot those tweets, and so now when we set records for attendance and season tickets, I post the screenshot next to the sold out stadium, and then tag each of the people yeah. on Twitter. Um, I did this back at Reddit when an exec at Yahoo said that our traffic was so small it was a rounding error compared to Yahoo's. This guy, he got he invited us to Yahoo. I won't say his name, but he was an executive there. And I thought it was like an MMA type M and A type discussion. Mm. But he basically ends the meeting 10 minutes in and he just is like, wait, how much traffic do you have? And and I'm like, I don't know, like 10,000, whatever, active, daily actives. And he was like, you're a rounding error compared to Yahoo. We're like, what are you even doing here? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, you, you invited, invited me. me. Yeah, like, yes, is that what Yahoo does? And this is Yahoo circa 2005. They had just gone purple. It was a big deal, big rebrand. And I think he was probably feeling a little cocky. And so when we, I got back to Boston, I printed out on the wall next to my desk, the words, you are a rounding error. So I could look at it every fucking morning and I could remember this guy. And, you know, we had people writing these blog posts. And again, I'm just weird. I'm very weird. This is not healthy. But um, there would be these initial blog posts uh, hating on the initial batch of YC founders and saying, like, Reddit is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's like a bad slash dot. This is never going to work. Every one of those went on the wall. Every one of them. And, and you know, four years ago, Five years ago, Reddit surpassed Yahoo in traffic. And you better fucking believe I <laughs> found an old photo of that sign uh, on my wall of that reminder. And it, it felt really, really good. Um, but it, I, I just, I don't know. Like I said, I'm a little broken in that way. No, I, we, we can completely I, I, relate. I, I can only imagine. I Fucked give up. this counsel to founders all the time. Who and look, everyone's got to find their own. I'm not saying this way that works for me should work for anyone else, but being a founder is such a unique position. You're creating something which is always a vulnerable thing, especially if it's I mean, y'all are actually more in the world of art than most of the stuff that that I'm talking about. But you're creating something, art or not, you're still in the act of creation. It's a sacred thing. You're putting it out into the world, and you know there's invariably going to be haters. And I, I tell founders, look. You're actually better off having haters in, in, in certainly if you like using it for ammunition and motivation, that's great. But even if you don't, better to be doing something that has somehow made people so irrationally mad at you than to build something that no one cares about. And the only reason you have people who hate or talk shit about what you're doing is because there are people, usually far more, who, for whom you're making something that they really care about, that they really love. Because otherwise, there's no point of using that energy. And I, like I said, I think everyone deals with it differently. But at the end of the day, I have so much respect for anyone who is in the arena creating. And and even if even if I don't necessarily love the things they're creating, I, I still have to have some level of respect for the fact that they are in the arena building uh, amidst all of that. And I just wish we had more people doing it at the end of the day, uh, because that's how we get better stuff in society. <laughs>